usually says that I'm his queen and he loves me the most. But I'm soon discovered out he doesn't love me the most. In fact, he loves someone else more than me. He stays with this person 24 hours per day. He may forget kissing me at night, but he never, ever forget bringing this person into his bed. Do you know who is it? Actually, it's not who, it is what. It's the mobile phone. So, you have been using this every day. But have you ever wondered what did it look like when it was 50 years ago? Who was his father and how it affects our life? So, today I will provide you some general information about mobile phones. Well, what is a mobile phone? A mobile phone is a device that can receive and send calls and messages by a satellite wavelength without any cord and it can connect to every situation on the world. Well, how phones work? First, the mobile telephone exchange will gather the information of the cell transmitters around. When it has enough, it will spread news through our phones and we can receive more news or messages whenever we want and whenever we are. There is an interesting history about mobile phone. In 1973, the first official phone was born and it was as large as a brick. People tried to make it smaller. 16 years later, the Motorola Microtag had decreased its size and it was a lot more useful. Then in 1998, we had a new type of phones called Nokia and it was so small that it could fit to our hands. And latest, the 2007, the iPhones were the most popular brand of the world. Mobile phones have many functions, such as receive voices, takes the SMS and the worldwide messages, USSD, connect to the internet, receive and send emails, still more, take pictures with a camera, be as a wallet, an alarm clock, see the calendar, and listen to the MP3 player. From a mobile, people exchange into a smartphone. Smartphones can make friends, search everything on a Google or a Safari, make videos, or take pictures. And the last one is about listening to the music. In the five recent years, people who use mobile phones have increased sharply. From the 2016 to the 2020, we had added up for about 1 billion people. Our world contains 7 billion people and for about half of them using mobiles and smartphones. Why do people make phones? That's because they need a device they can use whenever they want and with the development of icons associated that people have to move a lot. So they require a communication device that can be mobile. That's the reason why mobiles are being produced in every country on the world. This is an image of the father of mobiles, Sir Marty Cooper. Mobile phones have two faces. The first one, advantage. One, information on the go. So, you look at the library. The school cannot provide enough books for all students. With mobile phone, students can search information that relate to the lesson. It is very important to promote teachers and students. Two, emergencies. If a student gets sick or ill in a the class, they can use their mobile to contact the parents immediately. Also, when they walk home and they have some problems, they can call to the parents to take them back home as soon as possible. Three, timekeeping. Mobile phones have many useful functions, such as our alarm clock, notes, or calendar. The notes will help them remember about important lesson and the calendar will remind them about important days. Four, entertainment. So during the break time, students can use the mobile to play educational games such as Sudoku or Science Lab Adventure that to improve the knowledge. Five, location. So you see, students may have to go on trips or adventures for school. The GPS technology will send maps parents a message about where they are. Maps are useful. They help students not to get lost. 
But on the other side, the disadvantage. One, wastage of valuable time. So if teenagers or students spend too much time on the mobile, they will have less time on studying. As a result, they will be degraded. Two, causing distractions from work. Imagine if a students keep checking messages or emails on their mobile every five to 10 minutes. How can they focus on their work or lesson? This is obvious distractions. Three, causing cyberbullying. With mobile phone, teenagers or students can easily access through Facebook, Zello, or Viber, where cyberbullying are in common. Cyberbullying is very dangerous. Sometimes it can cause suicide. Four, various health problems and sleeping issues, such as anxiety, anger, depression, tension, and etc. And last but not least, it's about road accidents. Imagine a people while driving a car or riding on water bikes, and they keep listening to the calls or sending messages, it will cause accidents. Sometimes it only gets injuries, but sometimes, worst of all, it can cause death. So, mobile phone is very useful and necessary to our life. We cannot live without mobile phones. But we control, or we are controlled by mobile phone, it is completely depends on us. Thank you.